WA drivers could face a hefty fine with new laws protecting cyclists coming into effect today. Under the rules, motorists must leave a one metre gap when overtaking cyclists. On roads where the speed limit is more than 60 kilometres per hour, the clearance is one and a half metres. The penalty for breaking the law is a $400 fine and four demerit points. Drivers are also allowed to cross double white lines to ensure the appropriate passing distance. So for more, let's bring in West Cycle Chairman Neil Hackett. Neil, good afternoon. Hi, Amy. How are you? Now, I'm well. Why do you think cyclists need this one metre rule? Yeah, the previous law only provided for sufficient passing distances, which was at the driver's discretion in terms of what was determined as safe when passing a cyclist. The new law has been implemented to make it very clear, one metre up to 60 kilometres an hour, 1.5 metres over 60 kilometres per hour. How do you think it's been received by drivers? Look, we think it's been received pretty well so far. It gives them some clarity into exactly what's a safe distance. Drivers understand that cyclists are vulnerable road users. The overwhelming majority of drivers in Western Australia are very respectful of cyclists on the road and we think it'll be well received. How do you think police will enforce it? Yeah, the police have got a very good job now in that they have clarity about what sufficient um, distance is required. Previously it was discretionary. Now that they've got very clear rules, they'll be able to uh, use footage from videos and cameras on bicycles and they'll also be able to observe motorists. Do you think we'll see more cyclists with GoPros as well? Absolutely. So GoPros, cyclic cameras, those types of um, cameras are, are prevalent in Western Australia now and I think their use will really skyrocket. OK. Other states have introduced these laws some years ago, so why do you think it's taken WA so long to catch up? Yeah, it's a good question. So the laws exist throughout the majority of European countries, Canada, South Africa, 28 states in America have the law. We've also had five parliamentary inquiries throughout Australia. All of those inquiries unilaterally recommended that the laws be implemented. It's taken West Cycle as the peak cycle body three years to do the advocacy work and really recommend it to the government and we really commend the McGowan government for introducing these laws now. Do you think this may increase though road rage? No, I don't think it's going to lead to road rage. What it is going to lead to is more mutual respect between the drivers and the cyclists. It's absolutely paramount that the cyclists do the right thing on the roads. It's also paramount that the motorists do the right thing on the road as well. The consequences of people not doing the right are terrible, catastrophic for cyclists. They're frustrating and annoying for motorists. We've had seven fatalities in West Australia so far this year. We don't want any more. No, absolutely. We do want to keep everyone safe on our roads. Neil Hackett, thanks very much for Thank coming you. in this afternoon.